we should monitor Trump's actions. He is completely unpredictable and I wouldn't put it past. And if you look at the dollar index, it came to rest on the lower resistance level. And the Bitcoin price could be adjusted below 15000 or maybe even $14,000. Welcome to the Coin Post. Are you celebrating Biden's victory in the US presidential election? Or are you expecting Trump to make a move and turn the whole thing around? Last week was the election week, and everyone was eager to know who would come first, given the victory to Trump in advance. But the American electorate decided otherwise. So let's work together to find out what to expect from politicians, the stock market, currencies and Bitcoin in the next few days. If you enjoy our videos and you want to help our channel, give us a thumbs up, please. It's the best you could do to help promote it. Now, let's break into the non-too-distant future and find out what to expect from the new week. Let's start. The previous week was a good one for the stock market and one of the most profitable for investors when compared to similar bidding periods during the US presidential election. The 6% growth in a week is good indeed. And if there was a slight correction on Friday, or let's say an attempt, today before opening the markets, futures on S&P 500 show strong growth. And it can only be understood as investors' joy that the president was chosen and there won't be anarchy in the US. At the moment, the elections are not over yet, at least not until December, when the electors vote and the new president won't take office until January 2021. The situation is, Biden wins confidently, and if he still wins in Georgia, then it will be a total defeat for Trump. In the meantime, Trump doesn't think to give up yet and insists on vote recounts in a number of states, and his team is preparing lawsuits. But what we know from the media Hardly anyone believes in their chances of actually making a difference in the election outcome. And the market growth is the best proof of that. Because for them, the worst case scenario would be the absence of a clear winner. I will keep monitoring the situation in the US. And let me know, my dear audience, if you want a video about Trump's chances of remaining president. For example, at the expense of a Republican majority in the US Supreme Court. And to complete my market analysis, I'd like to say that we should monitor Trump's actions. He is completely unpredictable, and I wouldn't put it past him to change his mind and admit his defeat, and there there would be a new boom in stock growth. But I believe it's gonna take a while, because he's gonna try other options first. And markets, though surging now, are not necessarily gonna show the same result this week. After all, election euphoria is fading, but problems in the economy are not going anywhere. Indy, there's no second relief package yet. It's not even promised. And if the process remains stalled, pessimism may return to the US stock market at the end of the week or at the beginning of the next one. We get going with the forecasts and next we have currencies. After which we'll have another block of cryptocurrency market review. I don't know what you're expecting more, the dollar rate or Bitcoin price prediction. But give me a thumbs up if at least one of the options is right. As the stock market grows and the money printing machine does its job, the Fed promised to get inflation above 2% to reach the level of the annual average, the experts promise further weakening of the evergreen. And if you look at the dollar index, it came to rest on the lower resistance level that formed due to the crazy stock rally after the March crash. While I'm not gonna argue with the long-term weakening of the dollar, which they need to drive inflation, it's time for it to make a little rematch next week. So I expect the dollar to grow, mostly against the euro, because this couple too is getting close to a pretty strong 1.19 resistance. And while the US is still cheerful about the election and ignores other problems, in Europe, COVID-19 is forcing the authorities to restrict the population. And under such conditions, Eurozone countries don't need Euro growth. On the contrary, it should be weakened to support budgets. By the way, it was reported last week that the GDP of all the EU countries would for the first time be on par with their total public debt. Coronavirus won't leave alone the oil market either. 
Last week, the number of cases worldwide reached 50 million. And this week, there could be another 10 million infected. As a result, consumption will fall. OPEC Plus has managed to maintain the oil value by promising not to increase production. We still see Brent oil price moving from the 41 to 45 range per barrel to the 39, 42 range. So this is what I wanted to tell you about the currencies and the black gold. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, do it right now. Next, we're having the Bitcoin price prediction. Last week, when it was clear Biden was to win in the US presidential election, Bitcoin dropped. These two events were immediately linked, although Biden promised nothing bad for the cryptocurrencies and his campaign had nothing to do with it. So I think it's just a coincidence, and I look at the market as if it really needs to go into correction. This is the case when you weigh up all the pros and cons, watch the news, analyze the chart and almost convince yourself it's time for a correction and Bitcoin does everything its own way again. But despite this cheerful pump, I'm inclined to remain pessimistic for now, because anything could be happening on an hourly or smaller time frames. But the weekly chart shows an almost vertical growth over the last 5 weeks. So I really think it's time for the bulls to take a break, and the Bitcoin price could be adjusted below 15000 or maybe even $14,000. In fact, it would be a good thing, because the higher we take in the current parabolic growth cycle, the more we'll have to roll back. And so we have a chance to take a break, step back a little, and then continue the adequate upward trend with new energy. Though I really feel sorry for the altcoins. Before we had time to enjoy their new accomplishments, there was a threat to lose all the gained advantage within a few days. But stop panicking, all these forecasts are just information and it's not a financial recommendation. And whether they are correct, we'll find out in a week. In the meantime, share your opinion in the comments, and let me remind you that you need to decide if you want a video about Trump's chances to remain president. And also support us with your likes, subscriptions, and share this video, please. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. It's the CoinPost channel. Subscribe and get enlightened.